We are on the side of the trail here in AR Springs, and um, so we it's raining. We decided to take this moment to talk about how our travel has been during rainy season while it rains on us right now. Yeah. Um, but we are covered. Check it out. We are in our resort, but we just stopped on the side of the path. So I know for us personally, we were very nervous to come during rainy season. Um, we're here in July, which is considered like mini summer. And yeah. so far our experience since we're towards the end of our trip, I would do it again. Yeah. This is our second time experiencing like some true rain and it hasn't like put a damper on our excursions. We were rained out during our boat excursion, um, but we still got to make it fun. I will say this, um, I think our experience matched where we were because the first half of the trip we were uh, on the coast and I think most of the days was mostly sunny. The last day where we got rained out on the boat tour was mainly because of just scattered thunderstorms which happened mm -hmm. in a summer day uh, and that could happen outside of the rainy season. But getting into Monte Verde and La Fortuna, we did expect it to be rainier and it was. Yeah, I mean Monte Verde, you're up in the clouds. Um, so that was to be expected, but honestly, this isn't anything where like, if you're thinking you're gonna come to Costa Rica, I can't talk for the other months, but if you're thinking if you're coming in July, um, if you're expecting to get like rained on every single day, that hasn't happened for us. Yeah, not at all. And hey, you're in the rainforest, get a little bit of rain. <laughs> we wanted to talk about another topic on the roadways. So another big topic, yeah. if you're concerned about driving in Costa Rica, if you're renting a car. So we first had to contemplate whether renting an SUV or renting a car. I will say if you're a confident driver, both options should work pretty well. From my research, because I did a lot, mm -hmm. it said that it's not necessary to have an SUV in Costa Rica, in most parts of Costa Rica, sure. and they have come a long way. Will I say that there's parts of this trip I was a little nervous about? Yep, but that was, was. mostly well, Monte Verde. Well, this is the situation. And driving is, at um, Monte Verde. Yeah, I think depending on where your trip's gonna be, is gonna, hugely impact what kind of vehicle you go with Tenido, i would yeah i would recommend an suv for monte verde if you're going to be spending time up near that area because the roadways aren't that well developed you have a lot of potholes and just driving through it i was rolling with it but you're still nervous about a flat it's the last mm -hmm. place you want to get a flat um but i do think for the most part you can get away with an suv the roadways are very very smooth swing it. even in the la fortuna area you can get away with uh an, a, just a sedan if you wanted to because yeah. those roadways are getting smooth too so yeah. um dealer's choice if you're a confident driver but the roads other than that really have not been bad outside of that main um mm -mm. the monte verde to la fortuna if you're in the tamarindo it was great um there are traffic signs it was actually kind of fun Actually, there's not traffic signs. There's like, I take that back. There's mileage signs that, mm -hmm. like they say, are just meant for suggestion. People do, there's people walking in the street, biking in the street. People are going around you all the time. It's, it's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, we're New Yorkers, so nothing <laughs> that we can't handle. We made it work. 